Hey guys, Jason with 316, and uh, it's been a couple of days and uh, a couple of weeks actually. And the reason for that is one, I got sick, and not with that, just a normal sinus infection, nothing major. And two, in Texas, when it decides to rain, it tends to rain for you know a month straight. So that's where I've been. Obviously, we got ourselves a problem. Uh, this car gets driven a lot, mostly daily driven, and uh, yeah. It was on the road and suddenly there was a major smell of antifreeze and they had to pull over and we have an antifreeze leak on it. And I was gonna give it crap for being a Ford except I came to get them in my uh, Buick and it died and it wouldn't restart. So we were both stranded. So I can't even say it's a Ford problem. I'm gonna get it down off the trailer here and uh, we'll take a look at it and see what's going on. I've got a pretty good idea. So that's what we're doing today. So this is technically more five minute fix than it is 316, but I uh, figured I'd make a little video out of it. And the problem is real simple. This particular hose right here fell down on top of this stupid idler pulley and it uh, wore a hole right in it. So literally the fix to this that got us stranded was uh, about oh, nine or 10 inches of five eighths of three quarter heater hose. So that's all we gotta do is replace that and we'll be good to go. And yeah, all we gotta do is take off a couple of hose clamps. <laughs> Say, Phillip head screw, or flat blade screwdriver, not Phillip head. And try not to break this brass junction right here because I'm sure it's gonna be stuck. But yeah, easy fix. Other one's down here, but they put it the right direction, so it's easy enough to get at it with a long screwdriver. Pan down below to drain. Because this is about to make a mess. There with the hose clamp. Come off there, you little sucker. <clears throat> Yeah, that hose was about due for replacement anyway. I just twisted its head off. But, uh, you can see right there where, where it's been wearing through. Right there especially. That was the hole and that was the reason. Don't take much when the cooling system's under pressure. <clears throat> Okay, junk. Uh, three quarter. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, my hose clamps. Hose clamp A. I gotta go fishing for hose clamp B. <clears throat> Those clamp B. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and make this hose a little longer so I can get it up and out of the way so this isn't a repeat performance. Okay. I just need to run down some zip ties and some hand freeze and we'll be good to go. And ta-da, we're back. So, take my zip tie here and Go ahead and make sure this is up and out of the way and it ain't never gonna fall. Won't be the prettiest thing, but it'll dang sure work. Hmm. Oh, it might be a little small. There we go, slightly longer zip. never going to come down again. Yeah, and I had a freeze in. Let's fire her up and see what happens. Just like that, fixed. Easy, quick hitter video, but yeah, one little hose, one stupid little, uh, one stupid little idler pulley falling down, and you're stranded on the side of the road. Sucks to be you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more. Thanks.